Hello everybody. Today we will be studying about the simulation of a D flip flop. In a D flip flop, the output takes the state of D input at the moment the clock goes positive and the output will stay in that state till the next clock pulse comes. It is called a transparent latch because the signal on the D input is captured the moment the flip flop is clocked and any change in the D input will be ignored till the next clock pulse comes. A D flip flop is considered as the basic memory cell because it stores the value on the data line with the advantage of the output being synchronized to the clock. Coming to the, it, uh, it is able, capable of storing one bit of information and this is the block diagram of D flip flop. Here we can see it has one input and two outputs that is Q and Q bar. The two table, when D input is 0 the and for the raising edge of the clock, the Q output is 0, Q bar is 1. And when D input is 1, for the raising edge of the clock, the Q output is 1, Q bar is 0. The simulation. Project. So open a new text file. program save then go to add source in the to effect project it is D flip flop open okay Select this, select our program, and then double click on synthesis. Initially, we have declared all the library functions. Then, in the port entity, in under port, D and clock are the inputs, Q and Q bar are the outputs. Under architecture, process D, comma clock, that is for any event on D input or a clock input, the output should change. We will declare a variable temp. And for the raising end of the clock, temp is assigned equal to D, that is your input is equal to the output. If there is nothing, if the clock doesn't change, the temp that is your in output is equal to the output itself, temp equal to temp. Then Q is assigned to temp and Q bar is assigned to not of temp. Now we will create our test bench waveform and see. Underscore TBW. Next, this is a sequential circuit. So we will select the single clock here. That is clock input. Finish. Then we will give the D inputs and D inputs and save this. Come to the source window, go to change this to behavioral, select the TBW, go to process window, click on designing ILC simulator and simulate behavioral model.
simulated output. You see that in the first clock pulse, the D input is high. When the clock pulse comes, the Q also goes high, Q bar is low. Next clock pulse, your D input, our D input is low. So Q goes low, Q bar goes high. Similarly, the next clock pulse, the D input is high. So for, at the raising edge, the Q output goes high. Now we will also see the regular counterpart. Use this project. Synthesis module. You declare the inputs Q and Q bar are the outputs. D and Q and clock are the inputs. Q and Q bar are the outputs. Initialize Q equal to 1. Let Q be 1. And at the positive edge of the clock, here always at false edge of clock, that means during the positive edge of the clock, if D equal to 1, Q equal to 1. Else if D equal to 0, Q will be equal to D. And Q bar will be, that is, not of Q. So, D will be, your Q will be equal to D input for the raising edge of the clock. Bench we found the underscore T B W the underscore T B W here again we will select the same single clock finish we give the inputs Source window, change it to be the group simulation, select TBW, the process window, values INC simulator, simulate behavior model, click on simulate behavior model. Q will just follow the D for every clock pulse, Q will be equal to D and Q bar will be not of Q.
initially because it was yeah, declared q equal to 1 so initial value is 1 and during the first clock pulse d is 1 so q is 1 in the next clock pulse q is 0 because d is 0 and the again next clock pulse d is 1 so q is 1 so this is about the simulation of the deep flip flop thank you